um, they found out that she had um, something wrong with her intestines and they did a life-saving surgery. The second time was when she was two years old and again um, intestinal issue that they found and uh, with a quick and easy surgery uh, they were able to uh, fix her up and save her life once again. Um, she had the, the same problem that she had actually was uh, what killed one of the BGs. Um, so it's one of those things that if, if left undiagnosed, um, it just presents as so many other things. And so, you know, it was great that the doctors they were able to figure out what it was and give her the surgery that she needed. So any amount that you can give will help because any amount will help Johns Hopkins be able to have um, better facilities or provide for people that can't afford it on their own. Um, I do have um, rewards for higher donation amounts, which you can see on the Extra Life page. But um, just anything you give uh, would be really helpful. And also, um, they um, have it so that you can donate uh, monthly instead of all at once. So if you don't have all the money now, but you know you want to give a large amount, you can do it that way. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Um, thank you for um, any donations that you can give. And thank you for supporting John Hopkins uh, Children's Center through Extra Life. Enjoy the stream. It's time for Eric Plays Go Go Nippon, my first trip to Japan, session four. All right, so here I am, ready to play some more Go Go Nippon. Um, probably gonna play this for a little bit and then play some um, uh, Cook Serve Delicious. We'll see. Um, anyway, um, so I'm um, kind of doing dramatic reading of this. Um, right now, anyone who um, donates gets to pick to uh, three months of um, XSplit Premium or 20% uh, off to Ink Gaming. Um, your choice. Just got to donate uh, $15 or more. All right, let's get going. <coughs> Anyway, you can do an afureko there. Got it? Um, sure. It sounds interesting. Doesn't it? Now, as we go down this street, we'll start to see more Pasokan parts stores. Hmm. What is that, Akira? Pasokan is a personal computer. You know that, right? Yeah, it's personal computer in English. Though usually we just call them computers for short. Really? Then why is it afureko just after recording? She's still on about that. Hmm. Whew. We walked around a lot. Yeah, I'm beat. Would you like to take a break somewhere? Sure. Where should we go? Let's see. Hmm, I know. I'll tell you when we get there. Come on, this way. Let's go. <coughs> ah. What's going on? Where's she taking me? This way! What's this? It's like a miniature skyscraper. Come on, the elevator's here. Huh? Don't say huh. You want to take a break, right? Oh, that's right. But what could be in a building like this? Ah, here we are. This place is... Yarashiyamase! Will that be two for today? Please. This way, please. I knew it! The workers here are dressed as maids. This is a maid cafe! Here's your menu. Thank you. Please call me when you've made your choice. Okay. So I know part of these um, visual novels, the part of it that is that they're easy to create because there's not a lot of um, assets, but uh, it would be nice if we could see like, you know, the maid cafe or something like that, you know? <sighs> I 
AC. So this is the infamous Maid Cafe. Wow. What? You look so humbled. I was just thinking how classy these Maid Cafes are for giving you a glass of water before you even order. That's not a Maid Cafe thing. All restaurants in Japan do that. Huh? Really? Yeah, water, tea, and a hand wipe are the basics of Japanese hospitality. Oh, I see. Japan is really attentive to your needs. I'm starting to think maybe the guy who wrote this is from Europe or something, because... Sure, they don't give you a glass of water right as you sit in most American restaurants, but it is one of the first things they bring. Anyway, I heard the food here is really tasty, so why not try some? Huh? Oh, sure. Have you decided? Hmm, I'll have the daily special. How about you? Hmm, I'll have the thing in the photo here, the egg thing. That's omu rice. Okay, one daily special and one omu rice. Drinks are free at lunchtime. Can we get that? Um, that's... Coffee, please. We'll have a coffee and an Earl Grey tea for after the meal. As you wish. Ah, and I'd also like, um, one of these cakes. One cake for after the meal, as you wish. I just heard that the cakes here were really good. I have an extra stomach for sweets. An extra stomach? Y you know, it goes to a different place. <laughs> huh? A different place? That's a pretty funny idiom. Not really different, just different. Come on, stop asking such complicated questions. But I'm not the one who brought it up. Mm. It's fine. If you want to eat cake, eat cake. I don't mind. But I don't want you to think I'm a pig or something. Huh? No, no, nothing. Okay. Sorry for your wait. One daily special and one omu race. Whoa, this looks great. Yeah, let's eat. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, it's rice wrapped up in egg. Wow! And the rice is flavored too. Is this ketchup? Wow, it's so good! Huh? You've never eaten omu rice before? Nope, omu rice must be a Japanese thing, right? I've never heard of it in any other country. Really? But I don't think Japan invented it. It, it must exist in Europe and America. But I've never seen it there. Omu rice, was it? The name is kind of strange, isn't it? Now that you mention it, the rice is obviously enough, but what's the omu from? Probably omelette, right? Omelette? Omuretsu? Right, it's a bit like that afureku thing you were talking about before. That's true, now that you mention it. Yes, now that I think about it, there are an awful lot of words where we borrow from English to make our own. That's true. But I think Japan's tendency to borrow things from other countries is what makes it interesting. Really? Yep, I do. Hmm. Ah, that reminds me. There's something I've been wondering. This is a maid cafe, right? Yes, it is. Isn't it obvious from the way they're dressed? Normal cafes don't have waitresses dressed up as maids. I know, but I always heard that in maid cafes they would call you master when they meet you. Oh, that's right. I think most maid cafes will greet you with the phrase, Welcome home, master. Okay. Some of them will write phrases on your omu rice and ketchup, or play games with you. Or sing songs on the stage, or have their pictures taken with you. But this place doesn't do any of it. Really? Why not? Since this restaurant is... Shinise, shinise, as maid cafes go. What does shinise mean? Um, I think traditional is the right word. It's been around for a long time. I see, wow fastidious food and a calming atmosphere, a good place to relax. Huh? That's the restaurant's concept. There are a lot of maid cafes around nowadays, and they all supply different, amusing services. But this place doesn't do any of it. They're continuing on the way they always have. So this is a place where you can get a taste of refinement in the bustling town of Akihabara. That's why I took you here when I figured you needed a rest. Maybe you'd prefer a more lively place? Nah, not at all. I mean, lively places are fun too, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested. But having a nice quiet lunch where we can talk is nice too. It's a good change of pace. Really? That's good. Thank you for saying that. 
Uh, Aki Akira looks so kind right now. Hmm? What is it? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Here you are. You're after dinner coffee and Earl Grey tea and your cake. Wow, this looks great. Itakadamasu. Oh, mm -hmm. it's so good. An extra stomach. Hmm? What was that? No, no, nothing. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. Do you spend a lot of time in this otaku, I mean, subculture? Huh? Why would you think that? Well, when I said I wanted to go to Akihabara, you immediately volunteered to show me around. <laughs> you knew where the anime stores were, and this mad ca maid cafe, too. So I was just thinking. Is it weird for a woman to be an otaku? Weird? Why do you ask? Well, I know there's some more awareness about them nowadays, but a lot of people still think girls who like anime and manga are weird. Some people are actively disgusted by them, so... See, I think that's interesting, considering that there's all this different um, anime that's made for girls. <coughs> but, uh, I don't know. Maybe we're more open to that than people are in Japan. Maybe people have to hide it over there. Who knows? I don't think you need to worry about that. Huh? Well, everyone has their own hobbies and likes, right? It's not like anyone else has to p p for it. It's not for anyone else to pass judgment on. No matter what you like, you're still Akira, right? That's true. Okay, I understand. I'm still Akira, so there's nothing to worry about. That's the way. Anyway. Anyway? I like those things too, so I'm glad we like the same things, you know? Eric? Uh, that reminds me. You like history, right, Akira? History? Not especially, but I don't hate it either. Why do you ask? Well, you knew about all the origins of Akihabara, right? So I just figured you... Oh, I just looked up all that stuff so I can give you a nice tour. Really? Oh no, not like that. That kind of thing is just common knowledge. Ah, uh, yeah, this cake is really good, though. Mmm, I sure love tea. One thousand one hundred yen for the Omu Rice lunch set, huh? <laughs> oh no, we better get going. Yeah, after we leave the May Cafe, we've got a lot more sightseeing to do. I also need to start dinner preparations, so uh, you can go around to other May Cafes by yourself if you want. I said I won't. <laughs> no need to force it. I'm not forcing it. Whatever you say, we'll leave it at that for now. Anyway, let's go home. Sure. Akihabara, what an interesting town. I hope I can come back here someday. <coughs> Maybe with Akira again. <laughs> Not likely. La 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 la. Wow. La 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 la. Oh my, you seem so enraptured with Akira. Huh? No, no way, that, that's not true. It's just, it's the first time I've watched her cook. She seems so at ease with it. Oh, I see. Akira makes dinner like that every day. Every day? Yes, her parents are always busy with work, and they get home late. Once we were old enough, Akira started cooking every day. Hmm, I see. Yesterday I was surprised to hear Akira was such a good cook. But now I see her in action. It seems completely natural. Maybe Akira is more feminine than I thought. <coughs> hmm? But why just Akira? As the older sister, wouldn't it be your responsibility to do the cooking? <laughs> uh, oh, well... As you suggest, I did attempt it at first, but... But? Akira said she didn't want to leave it all to me. That's... C come on, it's not like it matters. Now, let's see what's on TV. What? Hmm? That's strange. I thought we had some left. What's wrong, Akira? The ingredients for dinner. I didn't buy any since I figured we had enough in the fridge, but it looks like I was wrong. 
Ah, what should what should I do? I can't finish without it, but it'll lack for taste a little. Do you want me to pick some up? Hmm, I think so. Do you mind? Not at all. Wait, you're going shopping now? Well, yes. By yourself? Um, yes. Why? Are you crazy? That's dangerous! What? Come on, it's dark out there. It's dangerous for a girl to walk around alone at this time of night. Don't be silly. It's not dangerous at all. Yes, it is. I'll go instead. Do you know where to go or what to buy? Well, Akira could tell me. Do you know Oage? And then I'll need some Kamaboko. So that's tofu. And fish cake. That's why I was going to go. Then I'll go with you. That'll solve the problem, right? I suppose so. Well, let's do that then. I have no reason to refuse. That's that then. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. <laughs> Thank you. You're very reliable. And if anything goes wrong, I'll protect you. I'll be your shield. So. Hmm? Do you see anyone who might want to cause me harm? Not at the moment. Not just that. This place is incredibly peaceful at night. I told you, didn't I? I said it would be fine. But, 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 obviously crimes do occur in Japan, and it is more dangerous at night than in the day. But it's still not really late enough to worry. Even then, as long as you're a little careful, you probably won't get into much trouble. I, I see. It is. Even this late at night, there are young girls in short skirts walking all over. That's a weird detail to mention. Is this country really that safe? Alright, wait, wait. Because they're in short skirts. <coughs> I kind of regret acting like I could be her cool bodyguard now. But, hmm? No matter how safe you think it is, things are never 100%, you know? Having such a wonderful bodyguard today makes me feel perfectly safe. Thank you. Makoto. Let's see. Oage and Kamaboko and... That's it. I don't think I forgot anything. Okay, let's head back. Huh, let me carry the bags. <laughs> Thank you. I can't refuse such a sweet offer. It's nothing. That reminds me. You're good at English, you know, Makoto? Really? Thank you. Hearing you say that makes all my studying feel worthwhile. Can I ask you something? Why are you studying English? <coughs> hmm, well, there's no particular reason for it. I just thought it would be a nice skill to have for when I look for a job, and it would open lots of opportunities in the future. That's about it. I see. Are you disappointed? Were you expecting a more noble reason? Not at all. Whatever your reason, it doesn't change the fact that you're good at it. Besides, it's because of that that we were able to get to know each other. <laughs> That's true. Okaeri. Tadaima. Here, I brought this for you. Thank you. I'll get things ready, so you wait here. That reminds me, Akita's bad at English. One's good at cooking and bad at English. The other's bad at cooking and good at English. It's pretty mysterious to have sisters so opposite like that. Ah. <sighs> All that walking around today has me exhausted. I guess it's true that spring in Japan is pretty cold. Good thing I brought some cold weather clothes. But I hear it's hot and muggy in the summer with a lot of sun. If I come here in the summer, I'll have to prepare for that. Though, you can even buy suntan lotion in that combini, so there's plenty I can buy after I get here. Those are open 24 hours and they have a huge selection. Gombini really are convenient. I swear to god this game was made by the Japanese Tourist Association. Hmm. 
It's morning. I guess I'm still a little jet lag. I feel completely exhausted. But my time in Japan is limited, so I can't stay in bed all day. I've got to get up right away and get ready for another outing. I wonder where they'll take me today. I bet it'll be fun. But first... I'd better wash my face and wake up. Uh-huh. Huh? Oh shit. <laughs> of course. Freaking enemy. Ah. Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Alright, dude, it is like way past time for you to like get out of this bathroom. Uh 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 Um G -g Good morning. Lame. Are you kidding? What are you saying, idiot? At least he agrees with me that it's pretty lame what he's saying. Uh, I mean, I, uh... Um... Well, what? Would you mind closing the door? Uh... S -s Sorry. D -d Damn it. I'm such an idiot. I didn't even knock. But... Makoto, she's just as stylish as... Wait, wait, wait. As stylish as you thought she'd be? She was naked with a towel on her head. Uh, I mean, that's not the time to be thinking about that. <laughs> I like the music. I'm sorry. I was, I was, I, I, I was just so tired. I, I forgot to knock. I, I wasn't trying to walk in on you on, on purpose or anything like that. So, um, I totally, really, I really, I'm sorry. So please, I don't blame you. Huh? There's no lock on the washroom door, so you couldn't help it. Uh, please forgive? It was just an accident, right? Of, of course. If I was doing it on purpose, I would have taken a closer... L what? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. I wasn't, um... Yeah, it was just an accident. Total act of God. Even though I was the victim of it? Yeah. Well, it wasn't your fault this time. I'll forgive you. For real? Yes, but please be more careful next time. Sure, I swear, it'll never happen again. Thank heaven. For a minute there, I thought she was going to say I was, that having a guy under the roof was too dangerous and I couldn't stay here anymore. But... Hmm? Remember, I'm taking it at your word. If it was Aki-chan you walked in on, I don't know what would have happened to you. Hmm. No kidding. If it was Aki that I caught changing in the washroom... Just think about it, I feel a shiver. Hmm? Uh. Good morning, you guys are up early. You have no idea. G -g Good morning, I, I I just woke up a little early. Hmm? Well, what? What is it? Did something happen? Huh. <laughs> well, now. Um, Makoto, don't tell her! What? What is it? Something's up, isn't it? Not at all. Anyway, I'm super hungry. What about you, Makoto? Heh <laughs> I am. Whew, Makoto's not gonna rat me out. But this kind of thing is bad for my heart. Well, here it is. Breakfast is done. Oh, my. This is... Rice, miso soup, and natto. Fried fish. What a traditional Japanese breakfast. It's been such a long time since we had one of these. So, not those ferreted soybeans. <laughs> I forgot to buy bread yesterday, but it's nice to do this every once in a while, right? Wow, this is... I guess you realized I wanted to eat a Japanese-style breakfast yesterday. Hmm, you really forgot to buy it? What? Nothing. I just wonder why you forgot to tell us to pick it up when we went shopping last night. I, I told you, I just forgot. But you checked over the shopping list so carefully. Mm. Ah, uh, that's it. Silly Aki-chan. I wonder if you did this especially... I, I did not. I just felt like making it. Really? I thought it was because you didn't have any bread. I didn't have any bread, and I just felt like making it. Um... I think my daughter might be calling. Hold on.
Must have been some kids outside or something. I didn't have bread, and I just felt like making it. Akira. C come on, cut it out. Eat it up before it gets cold, okay? Itagemasu. Come on, eat up. <laughs> Itagemasu. Itagemasu. So, what do you want to do today? Huh? Don't say huh. I'm talking about sightseeing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that. Uh, let's see, where do I want to go today? Today I want to go... Hmm. Let's pick the place that has the shrine. Asakusa. I think I want to go here. Heh, that's a good choice. It has a lot of examples of traditional Japanese culture. Traditional Japanese culture? Yes, I'll be taking you around today. I see. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be heading out right after breakfast, so be prepared. Sure. Got it. Traditional Japanese culture, huh? What kind of place could this be? This should be fun. Itekimasu. Hmm. Interesting. Similar to the eat up thing. Itekimasu. Ite, ite rashai. Oh, that's funny. Hey, Makoto. <laughs> She's wearing the tourism thing. What is it? So, could you tell me where we're going already? Hmm, I don't know. I wonder if I should. Come on, why not? Just tell me. Oh, if you insist. Here, I'll tell you. Today we're going to... Where? Asakusa. Oh, Asakusa. Wait, didn't I pick... Oh, you know it? I saw it in the guidebook. It's a peasant town that keeps up with the atmosphere of the good old days. That's right. It's hard to explain in English, but in Japanese it's known as the... Shitamachi. Low town. The coastal area occupied by peasants and merchants. The nobles lived in the highlands. In the area known as Yamanote. Wow. Shitamachi, huh? You'll understand when you see it. Hyakuban wa iken ni... Shikasu, as they say. Yakuban wa iken ni shikasu? It's a Japanese proverb. It means that seeing something for yourself gives you a better impression of it than any description could provide. Now, that's a, something good to have a phrase of. <laughs> In English, I think it would translate to seeing is believing, maybe? See, this is why knowing more than one language is pretty cool, because seeing is believing is kind of, but it's not exactly the same as that phrase. Oh, yes, I see. Anyway, shall we be off? Sure. Let's see, I'll need my Suica to board the train. Here we go. I've still got plenty of money on it, so I'll just hold it right up to the terminal. Okay! Hey, <laughs> nice job! This is so nice, I don't even have to check the price of the ticket each time. I know, right? Alright, with this I've completely mastered the trains of Tokyo! so I thought. Ah, we have to get off here. What? Because we'll be taking the Yamanote line. Named after the Yamanote region. One of the most popular train lines in Japan runs in a loop, stopping at some of the most popular spots in Tokyo. Yamanote? Yeah, you don't want that side, you want this side. Huh? 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 Now we're transferring to the subway. W -w -w Wait a minute. <laughs> Are you okay? Um, yeah. As I told you, Tokyo has many train lines and they join together in complicated ways. Even native Tokyoites get confused. If you're ever riding by yourself, make sure to plan your route beforehand. There should be plenty of English rail maps online, so make sure you make good use of them. That was insane. It was ridiculous to think I could master this in one day. It's nice that they have monitors on the train that can tell you the next station, and the announcements are always very clear, but I'm not sure if I'll ever get used to this. Plus, hmm? what's wrong? 
Nothing. I was just wondering, is there a festival today or something? A festival? Why? There's just so many people around. I got to wondering. Oh, I see. I'm sorry to tell you, but it's not festival day today. What? Then you're saying... Yep, some stations are more chaotic than others, but this is business as usual for a large station. I... I see. <laughs> are you surprised? A little. A lot, actually. I should probably warn you, the big stations can get even more crowded than this. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, next stop is ours. We're almost there. Ah, sure. Tokyo can be a terrifying place. Here we are. This is... Wow, it really is Asakusa. I'm pretty sure my brother went here when he went on his trip to all the baseball stadiums in Japan. I think I, he has a picture of this specific um, Shin, um, Shinto shrine. Assuming it's Shinto. Maybe some of the Buddhist shrines in Japan have similar designs, but I'm not sure. <laughs> That's right, Asakusa, the town that recalls Japanese nostalgic traditions. This is Asakusa. It's not quite like any place in Japan I've seen yet. I don't know why. The street is so alive with tourists from everywhere, local and foreign. And beneath it all, there's a strange sort of atmosphere, like a deeply felt yearning. Hey, do you know about the Edo period? Of course I do. Akira explained everything to me. Then you're one step ahead of me. <laughs> this place, Asakusa, was a flourishing town during the era of the samurai. Wow! They're all gone now, but back in the day, there were theaters lined up and down these streets, like Broadway. There were also, um, what we call adult activity houses and various entertainments. It was a thriving pleasure quarter. In fact, it was so popular that it was called one of the three worst places in Edo back in the day. I see. <laughs> Very, uh, um, Times Square in the, in the 80s, I guess. A pleasure quarter. <laughs> what? What is it? Why are you laughing? Nothing. I just noticed your expression suddenly changed when you heard the words pleasure quarter. What? N no, wait. I, I don't have any interest in it. <laughs> it's just a joke. Oh, oh. It's just a joke. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> when you deny it so vehemently, it's like you're admitting it's true. Ugh. I think she's making fun of me. Uh, anyway. Hey, Makoto. What's that big round thing hanging from the gate? Oh, that's a... Chouchin. It's a large-scale version of the old-time lanterns. The word written on it is... Kaminarimon. It means something like... Gate of Thunder in English. That's pretty metal. <laughs> now that you mention it, it really is. So, why does it have... Kaminarimon written on it? Well, have a look. At either end of the gate... Ah, wooden statues. Right, those are the gate's guardians, Fujin and Raijin. They're the god of wind and the god of thunder, so... Hmm. Both mean thunder. I wonder if that's related to the guys that formed the Masamune in Chrono Trigger, because one of them goes, I'm the wind whoosh. Oh, uh, so why is the gate... Then, why is the gate named after just thunder? What about the god of wind? Right, the truth is, the gate's proper name is Furai Jinmon, the gate of the gods of wind and thunder. It's written properly on the other side. I see. Anyway, as long as we're here, do you want to go inside? Sure. Wow, what a busy commercial district. <laughs> it's not a commercial district at all. We're on the grounds of the Sensuji Temple. What? We're inside a temple? There are so many shops, it looks just like a shopping district. <coughs> I think that comes from the old days, when people came from far and wide to visit these big temples. Refreshment stands and souvenir shops started to spring to cater those determined travelers and involved into this. Now that's one cool thing that I learned about the samurai times, that um, hotels and stuff were actually invented in Japan in the 1600s, um, way before um, some of the earlier, actually, I think maybe even earlier 1600s, but way before some of the... Um, similar things in the US, although, I mean, in um, Europe, although in Europe they did have some hotels and stuff along the routes to um, the different 
treks that people would make for religious pilgrimages, but it wasn't quite as established as this because the samurai and the different um, lords had to travel to Edo routinely to go visit the emperor. <coughs> wow, I never knew there were shops on the grounds of temples. That's amazing. Still, the selection is amazing. I see things like souvenirs, what look like toys, even wigs, kimono, and all kinds of food. As long as we're here, do you want to get something to eat? Let's see, how about those? Huh? Excuse me, I like two of these. Here you are. What's this? It's called... Ningyui Yaki. It's an Asakusa specialty. Wow! This is a snack? I guess? It's shaped like a person's face. They just fried it, so it's still hot. Eat it up. Sure. Itadakimasu. Nom 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 nom. Wow! It's so sweet. Hey, what's this sweet dark stuff inside? Oh, that's called Anko. It's made from a bean called Azuki. That's been boiled and sweetened. A bean, huh? Wow. Do you like it? Yeah, it's sweet and delicious. This is amazing. You could kill hours just at the shops alone. Hmm. It's pretty awesome. Here we are. This is Sen Sensoji. This is... They say the temple first began operation 1400 years ago, but the main building itself only dates back 400 years. It burned down several times because of earthquakes and wars, though. The current main hall is only about 50 years old. I see. I guess you can't help a wooden structure catching fire, but it's a shame something sold has been lost because of war. Look at that! Do you see the big incense burner over there? Oh, wow! Yeah, smoke's rising out of it. They said if you burn an incense stick in it and let the smoke wash over you, you'll be cleansed of the darkness inside you. This dude needs to be cleansed. <coughs> wow, so it's like a magical charm? A bit. The smell's like a ward against evil. As long as we're here, do you want to try it? Sure. Okay, light the incense stick. Then lean over the rising smoke. Okay, it does make me feel a little better. Hehe, <laughs> it's very simple. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, should we visit the temple? When worshipping at a temple, there's a ritual you have to follow. First, the Chozo. Chozu. Chozu? Do you see the little stall where the water's flowing? You purify your hands with that, and it's called a Chozu. You mean I'll be washing my hands, basically? That's right, give it a little try. Take the ladle in your right hand, wash your left, then change hands and wash your right. Change hands again, keep a little water in your left hand, and brush it lightly against your lips. Wash your left hand one more time. Then hold it so the water pours over the handle of the ladle. Then you're done. Simple, huh? Give it a try. That's actually uh, quite a bit complicated. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. Uh, first I wash my left hand, then switch hands and do my right, and then swap hands again, wash my left, and is this okay? Yes, you did very well for your first try. With your hands washed, you're ready to worship. First, stand in front of the Buddha, throw an offering of money into the wooden box. You can give as much or as little money as you like. Okay. There, then last... I know, clap my hands twice, right? Wow, you know your stuff. I sure do. That lets the gods know you're there and ask them to cleanse you of evil. I've seen it before in anime. But unfortunately... Huh? That's how you pay tribute at shrines, you know, honoring the Japanese gods. This place is a temple, a Buddhist place of worship. There's a different method to it. I... I see. And here I thought I was being so clever. I guess I failed. When worshiping at a temple, you just pour your hand, put your hands together and pray to the Buddha. That's all. Put my hands together. Okay. I hope my stay in Japan will be full of amazing memories. Alright. I think I'm going to stop here for now. Um, I might play a little bit tonight. I'm not sure tonight. I'm thinking of playing either... Um, either cook, serve, delicious, or playing, um, let's see, either cook, serve, delicious, or maybe some, um, Team Fortress, while it's still time to play the, uh, um, invasion map, and, um, gain stats on the, uh, on the coin, 
not 100% sure, but uh, I'll probably be doing one of those tonight. Um, if not, then I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Thanks for watching. And um, remember, any donation, any amount from $1 to whatever amount you can give is really, really appreciated because it's going to the hospital that helped save my daughter's life. Thanks again. Bye. They found out that she had...